we play the wild card tournament. The winner gets a wild card to the main draw of a 25k event and is able to compete directly for ATP points. Most dangerous. What's up, Grand is, 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 grand is. Richie was the first one playing against the Portuguese guy. In the first round match, I played against Abdul Maria Swag and I was able to win 6 2, 6 1. After Richie's match, it was Ilya's turn and mine. Ilya played against a Portuguese guy and I played against a former 180 p player. I played a pretty solid match, very aggressive as I like, and in the end I won 6 1, 6 4. At the beginning of the match, I was respecting him too much because I knew who he was and I didn't know what to expect from him in terms of tennis level. I think it was a nice experience for me because it's not every day that we step on the court to play a tennis player with these credentials and experiences on a court. That way, I finished winning 6-2, 6-1. In the second round, I played against Prestige Colliver. Last time it was not nice, but I think this time I did even worse. It was definitely not nice, but it is what it is. Daniel had a tough challenge in the quarterfinals. He played against the first seed and the top 1000 ATP. In the beginning of the match, I was feeling really nervous and with bad sensations on court because I played this guy last week and I lost 10 8 on the super title. As you can see now, I'm losing 5 3 with him serving, and we are playing Golden Point because it's a pre quality. After I did the 5 all, I started to feel looser and play better and uh, we went to a, a tie break. The match was really strange because we had moments with really good tennis and uh, others with with uh, not some not that so good level as you can see if, if no. managed to miss an easy smash After all, I had four set points in a row, but uh, I started to feel the pressure to end the set. And as you can see, it's starting to recover. Still long rallies to play, I had opportunity, as you can really tense. Now we are 6 all again, I'm feeling more tense.
be more aggressive and I find a way to win. Yeah! He started to get looser and feeling better on court because he's, he had nothing to lose after all he had he, he, his opportunities on the first set and he he didn't win the, the set he managed to win 6-4 with some good tennis Uh, third set, uh, I felt that uh, we were equal because both wanted to win really bad the match and I felt that uh, he started to get uh, more tense again. Yeah! We were playing for like almost two uh, already past the two hours as you can see the emotion he's trying to he's already uh, getting out of control in a few moments of the match equal and doing the five ball. I try to stay calm and uh, understanding that uh, uh, sometimes it's not about what I can do, uh, there is things on the court that I cannot control. Try to to stay present and to, uh, do pressure on his serve because it's not the, he's not a big server. And uh, as you can see here, I'm trying to to pass, put all the balls in, and he's, he felt the pressure to, to equal five ball. I had some lucky points, as you can see here. He, I had a little bit luck. In the end it was a good match, uh, almost three hours playing and uh, I had my revenge on this time. Unfortunately, I lost in the, the semi-finals against the guy that defeated Ilya. But Daniel was able to go to the semi-finals and fight for a place in the final. In the afternoon, I had my semi-finals match where I managed to win by 75-76 against Afonso Portugal. Next day, I defeated Chico Oliveira in the final, and that means that I won the wildcard to play the main draw of a 25 cane in Quinta do Lago next week. But unfortunately, we weren't able to record the match. Guys, thank you everyone for watching, we hope you enjoyed, feel free to comment to help us to improve, it's very important for us. Next week we are play playing M25 in Kitab Lag and uh, stay tuned to watch it.